Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we get started, I want, I want to let you guys know that we have the soccer.com store. So go check it out the new gear, including the gear that Yvonne is wearing right now. I really appreciate that. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. I appreciate that. Today here, we have Yvonne. How are you doing, Yvonne? Good, how are you, Nate? Very, very good. Uh, pleasure to have you here. We're going to start with a few questions uh, so the public can get to know a little better. So, introduce yourself, please. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Ivan Militar. I'm from Hungary originally, but I've been living in the United States uh, for 10 years now. I was on the East Coast in the state of Virginia, in Virginia Beach and Norfolk. I went there to play college soccer at Old Dominion University. Um, and then I played, uh, played on various teams. Um, and then I came out here. I'm a coach, so I, I coach at Barcelona Residency Academy. So, I'm in the area. I live in Chandler. Um, and I'm very lucky to be here and, and be with you guys. Very nice, very nice. Thank you for sharing a little bit about your, your information with the public. Uh, so now in, about futsal, what position do you play in futsal? It doesn't matter to me really, I, I can play in, 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 any, in any position. Um, but but I, prefer, I prefer to score goals sometimes, but you can do it in any, any position in, in futsal. Um, I think when I was younger, when I was growing up, uh, I was more mobile, so so I played in different positions. But but, but these days it really doesn't matter. Um, I grew up playing futsal when I was when I was a very little kid because um, in Hungary it gets cold in the winter, so we have to play inside. So the whole country plays uh, futsal really uh, because we can't do anything else. So All right, great. Awesome. So how do you describe yourself as a futsal player? What's your characteristics? I think I'm experienced. I, 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 you know, I'm 28 years old now, and and you know, a lot of people are younger uh, who I play against and who I play with. So I bring like a, a maturity. I think um, I'm tough. I'm aggressive. I'm I'm good on the ball. Um, I'm the perfect player. How we know that? I, I'm the perfect player. Basically, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I have some weaknesses, and but I'm but I'm trying to trying to do the best best as I can. I'm you know when I was playing in college, I was I was a little bit different. Uh, more agile. I was do, doing winger stuff. I was I was I was quicker. I got an injury, and since then I'm more physical. I'm, I'm more you know controlling the ball and controlling the base of the game. So that's that's the kind of profile I have. Very nice, very nice. So I know that you moved over here to US. So how did you get in touch with the with the Brazos team? Yeah. So when I when I got here to Arizona, I really I really wanted to play. Um, I played for Lions Bridge FC back in Virginia, which is a very, very good uh, USL2 team. I played in front of like 3,000 people. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but when I left, you know, I, I couldn't find a team that, to play in Arizona and I was really busy with my new job and everything. So I, I was kind of hungry the last couple of weeks and months. And, and I was lucky to, to meet some of you guys in Coway and we coached against each other actually. And so I was like, yo, put me on the team. I want to play. And I was lucky enough that, you know, you guys took me in and I'm really happy and, and really excited. Very nice, very nice. So you mentioned that you played in Virginia before. You play outdoor, correct? Yes. Yes. So how it happened here in the US, the transition uh, of you playing outdoor soccer and now transition to play football? It's very interesting because I, I, I think, you know, all the people that um, watching this, all the people that are watching this, make sure that to look up Beach FC. I was I was a coach and, and the director at Beach FC, which is your youth club, and they just built a futsal facility, a completely new futsal facility. So the last year when I was in Virginia, I was actually playing proper futsal. It was amazing. It's one of the best uh, facility in the country. Uh, it's like great surface, great goals, everything like futsal tournaments. So I kind of organized the futsal life uh, back in back in Virginia Beach. And you know the young kids from all the way to, to adult leagues. So I played played a year uh, in a in a really cool environment before I came here. So answering your question, the transition is hard. Um, but I think if somebody is good outdoor, not necessarily good indoor, and if somebody is good indoor, not necessarily good outdoor. So I think I think it is I think it is a very important thing to adjust and play differently. Like I play completely different when I'm playing outside than when I play futsal. I pass way more at, in futsal than I'm passing. You know, I passed uh, outdoor, so uh, and different position too. I'm more, more like, more like playing in the back, trying to stop the opponent to to score in futsal. Me, I never played a defender or any like position like that going um, going outdoor. So it's an interesting thing. I, I think the biggest key is is adjusting. All right, great. Thank you very much, Eva. Thank you, Eva. Usually here in the Brazos TV, we have questions okay. from us. But this time we have a questions from the public. You ready for that? Yeah, yes sir. All right, for the first question from uh, Mitchell Hayes. 
Who was your inspiration? What's up, Mitchell? Great question. Um, I think I have, I have two answers here. Uh, when I was growing up, I loved the Brazilian Ronaldo. So it actually fits into the, fits into the atmosphere here we have with, with uh, a lot of Brazilian impact on the team. Um, I never forget like watching him. If I remember correctly, his name was Ronaldinho when he was grow growing up because, right, yeah, if I remember correctly. So uh, back then, I remember watching him, watching the video when he's playing futsal and it was nonsense. I mean, it was nonsense. He literally dribbled around four people and the goalkeeper and then a goal. And then he was like 14 years old playing with, with the dots. It was amazing. So I followed him through Cruzeiro and, and going to Europe and watching that score, the goal that he scored for Barcelona when he took it on and, and went the whole way. I mean, it's amazing. And I got, I got lucky because I saw him live. Uh, he played after he got injured. He tore his ACL just like me. So we have a shared, shared uh, experience there. And he, I saw the first game when he came back. Um, he played a Europa League game in Romania and I was from Hungary and I literally traveled like 16 hours to watch him. And back then they were fenced around the field and when he was warming up, there's a picture of me where I'm like standing there next to the fence and he's warming up. Uh, nobody talks about he got injured, like he pulled his hamstring 10, 20 minutes into the game. So it was not a great experience watching him, but hey, it was awesome to see him and like I almost touched him, you know, so it was, it was crazy. And the other one is uh, Kobe Bryant. I, I really, I'm a big, big Lakers fan. And a Kobe Bryant fan. God bless his soul. I mean, it's, it's, it's really sad what happened with him almost a year ago, um, more than a year ago. I mean, he's, a, he's an amazing, amazing personality. I, I follow everything. I have a tattoo with, with his signature. Like, I, I, you know, I, I really, you know, he's, he's, he's somebody that he's always on my mind. So Kobe and Ronaldo. All right. Thank you very much, Ivan, for sharing that. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Eva, for being here with us today. I really appreciate you coming. Uh, do you have any words to your fans, to your family back at home? It's your, your time to shine. No, I thank you guys. Thank you guys for, you know, being here with me and, and taking me on. I'm really excited for a season. I hope that uh, the world pandemic will allow us to have fans on the, on the, on the stands and, and, and have as many people as, uh, as, as, as can come. Um, we have a great team. I mean, we're playing really well. I think we are very intense and a very exciting team. So, you know, I encourage you guys to follow us and, and come back and watch us. Yvonne, last thing, could you please tell the public to like, subscribe, and share the video on your language, please? Hello, so you should be able at home. See you soon. 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 Comment and subscribe to our channel. Kövessetek minden felületen, hajrá Brazasz! Thank you very much, Ivan! See you guys next time!